Hey guys and welcome back to a new part of a Barcelona Football Manager series. So where we left off, we had three uh, victories and also three clean sheets against Deportivo, Leganes and Atletico Bilbao. Now we verse Young Boys in our second Champions League game of the, of the campaign. And then we've got a tough match against Atletico Madrid, A bar, and then back to a Champions League action against uh, Moscow. So, top of the table, uh, Atletico Madrid are right on our tail, just trading by three points. And we have the superior goal difference, only conceding two goals in six matches and scoring 17. So, we're going into this match with a good record, especially we did win against Borussia Dortmund quite uh, solidly. So, um, we got a good match in our hands. I'm going to use this match to fit in some players that are not yet... Uh, getting the game time they want or need so we're gonna put our bar and we're gonna put Malcolm on from Dembele uh, Let's bring on hold on. Let's see who else we have here Let's bring on R for for Vidal Rafinha 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 He's gonna go sample And let's put Samper for Busquets. Got some good teenagers, I must admit. I'm going to put Langley for MTT. And Messi's injured, unfortunately, so we're going to have to put Munir on. Yep, let's put him on. He is more of a poacher, so we're going to keep him in that position. Suarez is about 10 days out, so he'll probably not make the next game, but the one after that, he will. He should be available for it. Um, got quite a few injuries. Quite, quite a few injuries, which is not very good, but we are going to have to cope. Rakitic, Rakitic has played four games yet. Let's head straight into it. <clears throat> Here we go, young boys against Barcelona in the second second Champions League match of the group stage. Let's try and get a win here. It will be very good to continue our winning run. Uh, bad cross from young boys should have been a better one. Tenth minute, here's Samper, his first start uh, with Barcelona this season to Arfa, back to Arfa. And it, it was a poor shot, honestly, he went out. Okay, 18 minutes gone. Free kick for Barcelona. Nothing much happening in terms of highlights. So commentary is hard for me to commentate over it, not knowing what I'm actually seeing on the screen. Um, so I'm just gonna let it flow with the with the game. Coutinho passes it to offer. Here we go, 35th minute, half time approaching. Still no clear cut chances of Barcelona, although we do have five shots, with one of them being on target. And we have the superior position 61 to 39%. A little injury there for the young boys player. He just had a little collision with Kante uh, on the pitch. He is down for treatment, but he will most likely come back on if he hasn't already. Free kick, here we go. Maybe a chance. Yellow card.
Oh my days. <laughs> it's not looking too good going into the match against Atletico Madrid because we don't have Suarez, we don't have um, Messi, we don't have Dembele apparently now because Dembele is injured. Anyway, his elbow on that left-hand side. We need a little goal here. We need a chance. Very bad play from Coutinho. He just gave the ball away. But anyway, his elbow again. Here's to offer to uh, Coutinho. What a goal from Coutinho. Absolutely stunning goal. And that was like, what, 25 yards out? Very good goal. That's exactly what we needed. Sometimes when you can't really work as a team, you just need someone to play individually um, and try get the goal for the team, try to do a bit of dribble and just take his chance. Here's Malcolm, good dribble from Malcolm, but uh, he was fouled, his shirt was pulled and the referee has brought the game back for a free kick. Not a very dangerous position, but it can be a good cross and Arfa nearly gets his first goal for the club since his transfer. Unfortunately, uh, the, the keeper had a good hand on it and uh, he keeps the game at 1-0. Uh, come on, guys. Come on. Let's get that second goal. Come on. Oh my days, now Malcolm is injured. This is absolutely not too good. Not very good at all. Um, yeah. So that's like, what, three of our main... Sorry, four of our main players are now injured, which is not good heading into a crucial match against Atletico Madrid. But we're just going to have to try to come up with a formation... And um, try to see the game off. Uh, once again, Arfa, not a very good shot. It goes over for a goal kick. Um, I must admit, Arfa has been very involved with the attacking phase of the game, which is good because he, he is an advanced playmaker. Obviously, he also dictates the playing uh, field for the attackers and the uh, attacking mids. But also, he, he did get like three shots. Obviously, one was a very good save from the keeper. And then the second, uh, second and third, uh, they were quite poor shots. But um, props to him. It is his first game in the team so far uh, outside of the preseason tour. So, he is just trying to find his balance. But let's bring on Elena and... Suarez on for Coutinho and no it's not Luis Suarez it is Dennis Suarez about 13 minutes for them to get get the hang of the game and try and make some uh, chances Come on, just nine minutes. Oh my days, if it wasn't for that Tina goal, we would still be at nil nil and what a boring game this is, oh my days. I mean yes, fair enough, you don't have our strongest formation. Uh, sorry, lineup. But the players who do regularly play, they're not really stepping up. The only player who has is Coutinho with that brilliant goal. Otherwise, everyone's been playing pretty average. Yeah, I'm not too comfortable with this 1-0 lead uh, at the moment. Let's see if Munir can get his first goal for the club. Unfortunately, it goes out for a corner kick. And we give the ball away. And here's Young Boys on the counter-attack. We need to be careful. Oh, good save from Ter Stegen. What a counter-attack from Young Boys. It could have been 1-1, which is why I'm going to repeat what I said earlier, is I do not like going 1-0 up 
sorry, leading 1-0 at any stage of the game for too long because, you know, you're bound to uh, get counter-attacked or concede. Anyway, a 1-0 win. A win is a win. Not the best of wins. And also to top it off, um, we do have an injury for Malcolm, but... It seems like, wait, how long is he out for? He's about 10 days, guys, so he is not making the next match. We are going to have to really uh, shuffle up our uh, lineup for this game because this is not looking too good. We didn't uh, really play to the best of our ability, even though we did get the 1-0 win. And now we've got all these injuries to top it off, which is not too good for us. Um considering who we're going up against uh, right now so okay so malcolm he's gonna have to come off i'm not sure who we can put on oh, my days everyone's injured fuck you know not looking too good um I'm gonna put vidal for arthur busquets coming on for sampa uh, sampa had a seven rated game which is not too shabby Gonna have to put Rafinha. Actually, we're gonna put Roberto down that right hand side because he can play a right full back, also central midfielder, and also just in general on the right wing or on the on the right side of the mid. So maybe this can give us some hope uh for this game, even though uh it's gonna be a tough one. We've got PK and MTT resuming their partnership in midfield. Damn um, no strikers right now we could put. That's what pisses me off. So what we are going to have to do, guys, and it pains me to say this, but we are going to have to put an advanced playmaker in the form of, an adv in the form of a, kind of like a front trio. So we are going to have to play without a striker just because we do not have a re recognized one. Munir has not been doing too well. I've given him a few chances. He's got an average rating of six from two of the games that he's played. So we're going to have to go ahead in this match as we are right now and uh, try get a decent result here to maintain our unbeaten start in the La Liga. We're going to be coming up against Griezmann. Anyway, Barcelona get the game on the way. No reason for us to panic. We should be able to adapt. We must always have a plan B to our game in case plan A is not going accordingly, which is very important. And here's Roberto resuming the free kick. Uh, going good down the right-hand side, but the uh, cross wasn't strong enough to penetrate. It did get deflected. And now, got to stay focused on the defensive phase. I think this game, considering it's such high quality, it would be a really compact midfield type of game. So if you can control the midfield in this type of game, you basically say, here's uh, Coutinho again, going everywhere, and here's the, uh, who's that, Vidal. What a goal for Vidal, we go 1-0 up. But it was all Coutinho who'd done the attacking phase. He went, two, he went past two, three opponents. Absolutely beautiful. Coutinho is marvellous in that position. Anyway. Here's another chance though, we're not finished just yet, Coutinho, to Vidal, what a goal, oh my, what a goal from Vidal, that puts his tally up for two goals this game, not expecting that from a, a central midfielder, but anyway, uh, can't even speak, Let's go Madrid get a goal back, not good, <laughs> Just trying to sort out my words to describe that counter-attack. But it was a good counter-attack. We just let up. I think we. what happened here is we got too excited for that 2-0 uh, lead. And we just turned off uh, the switches in our defence. But here's Coutinho. Who's he going to put it to? It's another goal. It's end-to-end. -end. PK gets his first goal of the season. What a header. And it could not be a more important goal. Because it gives us, gives us that two-goal gap uh, distance once again in the game. Now hopefully... Let's see how consistent we are. Let's see if we've learnt our lesson from the last goal we conceded. Where we got a bit too happy with that lead. <clears throat> Good defensive phase from Semedo. Stops Griezmann from going in. Um, from cutting into the box. But we are just approaching half time. And I must say, this has been a good game considering the fact that we are missing four main players. And I'm not just talking about anyone, but I'm talking about Messi, Suarez, Dembele 
and uh, now Malcolm uh, with a fresh injury. So hopefully we should have all these players back for the next game. But for now, we're going to have to do without them. And we look like we're, we're a solid team. We look like we are coping without them. But let's just uh, see how the game goes on. Once again, another attacking phase from Vidal. He's been brilliant, Vidal. Rafinha loses the ball, but he did get fouled. So that's why he lost it. And it could be a, it is a yellow card for Partey. And uh, what a decent chance. I think Coutinho is going to take this and it gets deflected. And it hits the post. Coutinho gets the post. Unfortunately, it did not go in. But um, <clears throat> once again, very good play from us. And um, don't want to start speaking too soon. But the uh, formation at the moment we have is quite solid. We are playing without a recognised striker. So I'm guessing this is why Vidal and PK are getting most of the goals right now. Because there is no recognised striker to put to be putting those chances in. So everyone else is assuming that role to uh, score goals. Which is a good thing. It's a good thing. Don't get me wrong. Um, I expect nothing less from them. But to make up for that missing striker. But Correa is brought down. Semedo. Oh what a chance. It is a goal kick. I lost that phase. Kalinic was just about to pull the ball in the net once again. And... Um, Oh, what a terrible free uh, corner! I mean, uh, goal kick. Eighth minute, guys. Two more minutes left of play. Let's see. Can we keep this lead? Diego Costa. Oh, my. He nearly got a goal there. Very good goalkeeping from uh, Ter Stegen. And uh, not a very good goal kick, though. Goes straight to Oblak. And uh, it is really end-to-end -end stuff, uh, which I was not expecting this game. I thought it would be more of a midfield game. But it is end-to-end. -end. Diego Costa. Diego Costa is offside. He might have just scored that, so he did just get off the hook. And half time is just about to be sorry, full time is just about to be uh, underway. What a good result, guys! And this isn't against just any team, it is against Atletico Madrid. And we are playing with a weakened formation, so um, yeah, decent result, guys! Very decent result. Now we got a bar, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna skip ahead into the video, guys, and I'll meet you guys back just when the game's just about to be uh, begin. Okay, so now we have the game against Abar, which is just tomorrow. Abar, not the best of form. They've only got two victories in the last five games. Um, and let's check the table out real quick, guys. So we are currently on first, seven victories from seven games, and with a maximum of 21 points. Very, very good goal difference as well. Least goals conceded in the league and most goals scored in the league. So everything's going right for us. <clears throat> and... Um, Semedo wants a better contract. We'll give him a better contract just because he's been performing so well. His defensive phase has been vital to us getting this um, uh, unbeaten start in the campaign. Anyway, so let's see if our main players are back. So we've got Suarez who's back from injury. So that means we can resume our uh, striker formation with one at the front. He is going to be a complete forward. We're going to confirm that. Messi... He is going to come on the bench. He's not fully fit yet. But Dembele is. So we're going to put Dembele on. Uh, who else do we have here? Roberto though. He put on a really good game. He got a 7 rating. He's such a useful player. When you get injuries like that. I wish. Uh, I hope that I'm going to be using him more in the season. Because he's such a good player. He can adapt to any position you play him. As long as it's on the right hand side I believe. Uh, so yeah. Offer. Arthur has not been playing too bad. He's played three games, got one assist in those games. So he, we're going to see more of him. Malcolm, uh, he is going to remain on the reserves. He's still uh, battling against a fitness test. So he's not going to be available this game. But uh, we are good to go. Okay, here's Abar get the kickoff on the way.
Is Coutinho a very good player from Coutinho? Just sweeps up that ball that was left that was left over, and we are now in the eighteenth minute. Mm. Oh my god, VAR is coming into play, guys. VAR is coming into play. The referee is going to review the footage. There is a debate whether the foul was inside the box or not. Okay, it was outside the box. The VAR has just confirmed. Guys, this is the first time I ever had to use VR in this game. Uh, but it's good they have it in a situation like that. Oh, good save from Teshtegen. What is going on? We are crumbling. Abar playing so well since that free kick. We need to watch out here. This could be a shock win for Abar. We got to keep our heads. And just as the stats are telling us, we are getting dominated. As I was saying though, never had to use VR in this game. It has never come to VR in this game, except for now. So basically, if you guys did not understand what was happening, it was a foul from Semedo or a defender, I'm guessing. Oh, for fuck's sake, Suarez is injured once again, guys. Oh my days, we're going to have to put Messi up for him. We're going to put Messi as a striker. But as I was saying, guys, so the debate was there was a foul. And uh, the referee wasn't sure whether it was inside the box or not. So VAR just came into play to confirm it. And the VAR did confirm the foul was outside of the penalty box, which resulted in a free kick and nearly a goal. A good pass to Coutinho, to Vidal. To Dembele, he gets his goal. Absolutely beautiful. Very, very good play from Barcelona. He's getting a bit scared with that pressure we were getting put under in the first uh, 15, 20 minutes or so. But we are starting to look like... Uh, a good team once again. Coutinho, unfortunately, did not go in. His Kante nearly got his second goal for the club. Kante's been playing so well. Here is Messi with the chance. Here's Messi again. Poor cross from Messi. He could have put that one in, taken advantage, but um, it goes. Uh, play goes on. Is Coutinho okay? Started this game, the started this half very brightly. Coutinho loses the ball eventually. Uh, Kante, but we do get it back under control, which is good to see. And we are starting to pick up the pace in the game. We've got literally six shots and five on target. What a very good shot, uh, on target efficiency rate or shot accuracy, should we say, in general. But um, Abar are seeing most of the ball in the second half. Doesn't mean anything too bad though. Here's the 70th minute. Kante, is he going to play a little one too? He chooses a safe route and passes it to Semedo. But it is a corner. I mean, sorry, it is a goal. Dembele, I think, gets his second goal of the game. Nice to see him getting him on the goal since he's come back from injury. And uh, he's, um, he's sliding into that messy role very well. He is providing the goals. And um, all good rounds around the pitch. In all positions, uh, only concern is Suarez. Uh, hopefully, I didn't aggravate his injury too much by including him too early. But it, I gave him five days rest since he came back from his injury. So, um, not sure what the problem is. But we're going to find out. We're going to talk to the physio after this game. And he's going to let us know what the situation is. We're going to make a sub right now and uh, bring in Dennis Suarez for Coutinho. And uh, let's bring on Rakitic as well. Let's give him some game time. Vidal... Hasn't been amazing this game, but he has played his role. And uh, overall, Vidal has been amazing this season. I was not expecting that for his age, and he's got very bad pace. So I thought he would slow down attacks quite a bit. But he is contributing to the goals, surprisingly, and uh, very good on the attacking phase. Just waiting for this uh, referee to just give him my damn uh, substitution already. It's been about four minutes since I requested for one. And... Um, Okay, so Medo's been summoned. He might get a yellow card here. Don't think he'll get off lucky. Yes, he gets a yellow card. Also, another highlight of the season is Semedo has tied his uh, future to Barcelona. He signed a new contract recently. And here is Dede Suarez coming in for Coutinho. Rakitic coming for Vidal. And uh, let's put on it. Okay, max substitutions. Forgot about that. We've already made it. For some reason, Messi is picking up a knock already. If he can just hold out for about uh, eight minutes or so, that would be great. 
because we have no more substitutions on hand. But anyway, here's Hernandez, very good sprinting. Kante, very good play. Back to Suarez. Oh, Suarez, what a shot. He nearly got his first goal of the club. Absolutely beautiful. Good shot from Dennis Suarez. Here's Rakitic with a cross in. And it is another corner. Can we get a goal just before final time? No, we can't, unfortunately. But it is a good game all round. A nice clean sheet once again. Um, and a solid 2-0 win. And Dembele gets his um, another goal to his name. And here is Suarez. He's out for 10 days. So his injury is not as severe this time. But let's play our last game of the episode against Moscow. And try keep our unbeaten run in the Champions League going. Once again, we're going to deploy Messi up front. He's been playing so well in that striker position. And... Um, we're going to give Dembele the, the starting lineup spot in Messi's normal position. Oof, actually, Messi's still not fully fit, guys. I'm not sure if I want to risk him. Not sure if I want to risk him. We're not going to risk him, guys. We are not going to risk him. What we are going to do, though, is we're going to employ, sorry, deploy the same formation we used against Atletico Madrid in that mastermind win. And uh, so we are going to put Rafinha once again. Sorry, wrong uh, fucking sub. We're going to put Rafinha once again on... But then Malcolm... Malcolm could be... Could do well in that position. A lot of options here, guys. A lot of options. Mm. And let's put Rakitic on this time for Vidal. Um, let's put Lengle for uh, Umtiti. So, yeah. Let's put... Rafinha to more of an advanced playmaker role. And we have the two beast inside forwards on the side to complement for that missing striker. Let's see if we can get a win here, guys. We should be able to, hopefully. Uh, we got a solid formation. Good dispossession from Dembele. Once again, proving why he should be in the starting lineup. And we play the game out very nicely. Uh, bad part from Semedo, though, just ruins the play just a bit. But it is still early in the game. Come on, guys. We've got to get a victory here. Got to keep up this win. Winning run in the Champions League. Semedo, once again, called over by the referee. A bit harsh if he does get a yellow this early. But, yes, it is going to be a yellow. It must have been a uh, must have been a severe foul if he does give a yellow uh, this early in the game. Um, so, I can't really complain about that one. It's been about 20 minutes, guys. And no teams have had no shots. Moscow are seeing most of the ball right now. We're just about dropping off, trying to soak up the pressure. Which is... Um, shouldn't really be saying this, but I'm not really sure if we should be playing like that. Obviously, I'm the manager. The team should be playing according to me. But this is obviously a digital game. So, whatever happens, happens. But um, Kante, ah, he gets a yellow as well. It seems like... It seems like Moscow are really, really good on the ball and we are just trying to pinch the ball off them and we are committing a few fouls here and there which has resulted in two yellow cards. Here's Coutinho again though, is he going to get a goal? No he doesn't but it was a very good shot, a very good attempt. Um, so it's good to see but very slack possession from Busquets and that does not give Moscow their goal, good defending. But Busquets needs to be more careful, that was a very sloppy pass and then Moscow, Moscow... Um, their game plan is going much better than ours. That much I can say so far. Uh, Semedo. Oh, he needs to be careful. He's on another yellow. Come on. Come on, Semedo. You can't be doing this. Gets a, he gets a warning by the referee. He's on a really tight slope. I need to be careful with him. Might have to take him off at um, half time. Or I'm not sure. I'll see how he keeps going. But the next foul he does. The next big foul he does is definitely another yellow. But here is a free kick chance for Moscow. Let's see if can take him whip this one in the box. No, he can't. A very poor uh, little set piece there. Not sure what they were trying to go for. And um, we are back on the ball, though, unfortunately. Yeah, this formation is not playing out too well at the moment, unfortunately. I was hoping it would bring wonders since that very solid win against Atletico Madrid. But it seems like... Um, uh, it takes its toll on the team from being switched from two formations, although there's not much any difference except for there being no striker. But I guess there's more pressure on the midfielders now to take their chances, maybe. I don't know. But uh, we are in the lead now in terms of shots. We've restricted Moscow to no shots uh, overall, although they still have more of the ball. 
hopefully we come back in the second half and try implement our game plan better more clearer and have a clear direction of where we want to go here's man united are winning 2-0 against not sure what the team was here's some medal on that right hand side um good early fresh start for barcelona oh some very dangerous uh, with that mistimed pass A warning for the Moscow player. Come on, 63 minutes played, guys. No clear cut chance for both teams. Um, not sure who to bring on. Might just have to put Messi back in his striker for the remainder of the second half. Let's do that, guys. Uh, give Messi some game time. Try to ease him back into the game. His fitness level is still not fully, uh, not fully up to its best, which is a bit concerning because it's been a bit, it's been a week or so since his injury recovery has taken place. So um, you'd figure he would be fully fit by now. But let's bring on, let's bring on Malcolm this time for Dembele, and let's bring on Messi for. Um, Uh, Messi on for Rafinha and that should be our main substitutions done most of our teams on sixes which is as you can tell reflects the game perfectly it's, it's been a bit of a boring game Messi takes the corner kick is anyone going to be able to get to it no one gets to it and now we are still chasing a goal quite late into the second half uh, we are chasing the, the play Chasing the ball. Free kick though. Come on, about sorry, twenty minutes left, and still no chances, guys. What is going on with this game? Come on, it's gonna be a yellow card for the Russian player. Lionel Messi takes charge of the free kick, but nothing comes. Oh, this is so boring to watch. Someone please step up. It's a free kick. Can we make this one count? Messi's going to be taking it. What a goal. You would expect nothing less, would you? But Messi, five minutes left of play. Beautiful free kick. Uh, chance, opportunity. He obviously takes it, steps up, does what he does best, and gets a goal for the team in a very difficult period since we've had no other ch chances pretty much prior to that. Uh, good uh, clearance from Leng Le. A Coutinho released on a counter attack, but it was not a very good pass. Here's Moscow again. They're trying to show that they can get a goal back, but they get shut down by the defenders. Here's Kante to Malcolm to Messi, and uh, that was more of a pass, maybe, or of a hit pass. But here is Messi again, Kante, and I think this should be the game over, hopefully, and that does get us another win in the Champions League. Not the best win, but it is a win. Here we go, guys. Just approaching the fourth minute of added time. And a whistle surely is about to go. Here's Messi. He loses the ball, though. Hernandez. And it is a win, guys. What a win. And let's check out the group stage uh, table just before we end off this video on a very good note. So we've had all victories this episode. We've played about four games. And um, let's check out the Champions League. Okay, so we've won, won three wins out of three games currently on top spot we've got five goals for zero against very good goal difference very good defensive record and yeah guys hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you on for the next one peace